guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel today we are making a nascar racing jacket um i have always wanted one of these and i'll upload a photo here of something similar i saw on pinterest and so one day when i was at the thrift store i found this windbreaker like jacket and two of the patches that i put on to it the team chevy and the usa and so i was like i'm going to embroider them and originally I was going to embroider by hand, but I saw a TikTok, which I will also insert here, where this girl uses, I think it's like an open toe dining foot, darning foot. Anyway, it's like an open toe foot and you put down your feet dogs and you can move your fabric in any direction. So I did that instead of doing it by hand, which probably saved me some time. But this still took a lot of time just to embroider the patches and then also I made some of my own patches like the Elise and the Eleven that you'll see later. Um, for context, I finished a season of America's Next Top Model and I still wasn't done embroidering and attaching the patches. But with that being said, I absolutely love this and let's get into it and see how to make it. Okay, so there's a change of plans. I am going to be honest, I did not feel like making pants for the pattern making series today, especially because today is maybe Monday and I maybe want to have this uploaded on Wednesday. So I'm going to be making a racer jacket, which is something I wanted to make and I'll put an example here or here if I can find any, but I went thrifting and I found this windbreaker type thing jacket and I was like, ooh, that looks really cool. And then I found this Team Chevy shirt and then on the back it also has the Team Chevy on it. And then I found this USA shirt and then... Originally I was just going to embroider all of these pieces by hand so they could have more weight and then attach them to the jacket. But I saw this TikTok. Um, where this girl found an embroidery foot for her machine so she doesn't have to use an embroidery machine. And then I was looking through what my sewing machine has and we have a similar foot. So I'm going to use that instead to be able to embroider these quickly. So I'm going to get ready and show y'all that. Okay, so my foot looks like this and you lower the feed dogs so that you can move the fabric around freely. So I'm going to show y'all that. I have this but like switch in the back and doing moving this will <laughs> that's pretty cool because I haven't done that before it lowers the feed dogs so that I can move this around however transparency I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> um I just thought that I would let y'all know that um I all of my research on this has been that one singular TikTok that I showed earlier so I'm just gonna wing it um but I did put the first oops the first design in the embroidery hoop and i'm gonna get ready and put it in and thread and i also bought the big spools of thread one just because i'm buying them from it's like more cost efficient and two i feel like it's gonna take a lot of thread and i'm gonna start by doing the usa and then the red stripes and then i want to do the white that fills them all in and then i want to do the blue border also i've been holding my phone crooked for those last few seconds um <laughs> So yeah, I hope this goes well and we're gonna try to figure it out. Also, two things. Um, one, the girl who did it, she said she lowered her stitch length, so I'm gonna try to do that. Which funny, I don't actually know how to do that on this machine, which is like really dumb, but I have the manual with me. And two, I had like a mini crisis because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't get the loop in. I don't know if I will be able to get the loop in, but I can push this up so you should be able don't break the needle <laughs> like it looks like I'm about to do but I think you can push it up to be able to fit a hoop under and just I have the hoop so it'll be easier to like move stuff and keep it like straight and stuff. Genius! <laughs> and I thought to test this before I actually do it on the real thing. So I have my stitch, a zigzag stitch, and I have both the length and the width set to zero. So I'm gonna see how this looks, and then I will report back if I, when I st actually start, 
to see how it's going and how I plan to do this. Okay, um, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was gonna show you this and then I was like, let me show you the switch link. So I'm keeping the length the same and I'm only gonna do the width of two because I did zero and zero. And we got this and it's very small. So then this is with the length of 1.4 and the default and the width of two. And if you see here, it the girl on the TikTok says you need to move it really slowly. And I think that's what I did in the middle. And so I get what she means now. So I think I might be ready to get started. We're gonna see how this turns out. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I finished the first letter. I did the U. Um, it's not the most amazing, as you can tell. The parts that go out into the white, I'll cover when I do all of the white. But pretty much um, what I did was I just did like down uh, and then all the way up and then kept looping like that. And for the next two, I thought about going like this way. That might be easier for the S, but I think for the A, I'm gonna do the same as I did with the U because I think I like the look of that. So I'm gonna do the rest of the USA, probably the red, and I'll either update you after I finish this one or when I go on to the next one. Okay, I did the USA and the red. I might come back and do the white. I definitely messed up and I should. It's just tedious and I don't know if I want it because like doing the white's gonna take a really long time. So we're gonna come back and update on that soon. But I already have the red threaded. I'm gonna embroider the nike and i'm probably gonna put that over here on the jacket because or maybe i'll do it on that side because um i was just looking at like sample ones and they just have like a lot going on so when i embroider the team chevy i'm not gonna embroider the white because i don't want it to be like a huge white circle so i'm just gonna do each individual letter in each circle <laughs> and the chevy emblem and i'm gonna cut that in half and put it on the front and then the team chevy that's like on like the frocket there's not actually a frocket but like i'm gonna also embroider that and then probably oop, either put it on the front or on the sleeve and then because i am an overachiever or whatever i'm going to embroider i'm gonna draw an 11 with whatever with whatever scrap i have left and i'm going to embroider that and then I'm gonna also embroider Elise and put that either on the sleeve or on the front. So it's gonna be a time. <laughs> so I will keep y'all updated and take y'all along with me on this journey. Oh, also I got into a groove kind of. So I definitely made some mistakes as you can see with like when I went out. So if I ever need to move the loop or just like stop, um making sure i do that once the needle is down is the best because i definitely would accidentally jump outwards like i did on the a and originally i was going really slow to be neat which is very helpful but it took a really long time so i started to just go faster and i've done everything kind of like in lines so i could just go up and down and up and down and like kind of use that as a guide. So I discovered that my sewing machine has this added table that I can add, which has been very helpful because then the whole loop stays on rather than with just it to here, the loop will like fall off. So when I move it, I would also usually mess up. So those are just some things that I've done <laughs> to make this a little bit easier. Okay, so I've been embroidering literally all day right now. I'm halfway through the Chevy. I've done the USA, I've done the Nike swoosh. I still have to do the letters and this one. But where I'm stopping, I drew out my name, well, my middle name, and 11 because I wanna put a number on the side. And then tomorrow, once I'm done embroidering those, I'm gonna also embroider these. I have to film this because I've been working on this jacket for a long time, as you can tell by this not being released on Wednesday. And I've always seen horror stories of people like hitting themselves with their, like the needle like with their finger and stuff. And I was like, I just don't see that, how that happens. And I, can you, let me flip the camera. I'm trying to get it to focus. Wait one second. I cut myself because I put my finger too close to the needle. That would happen, but be careful, especially if you're using this embroidery foot, but it doesn't really give much guard and safe way to getting cut because I definitely put my finger a little too close. Wow. <laughs> After a lot of time, I finally finished embroidering. 
For context, um, I was watching Cycle 20, Girls and Guys, of America's Next Top Model when I was embroidering, and I am almost done with that season. So that is how long <laughs> that this took. I have the 11 done, the USA, the Team Chevy, the Nike swoosh, the smaller Team Chevy, and Elise, my middle name. So what I'm gonna do now is iron them out just so like it can like set them some and then also so the fabric will be neater. And then I will cut them out and I'll probably leave like for example on the 11, I'll probably leave like half a centimeter around it so then I can attach it because the stuff on the sleeves I'm probably going to need to attach by hand and I think I can use the machine for everything else. So I'm gonna show you all that. <laughs> Okay, so I have all of the patches pinned and now I'm gonna sew them on and I'm gonna use the same foot that I've been using, the embroidery foot, because it'll be easy to easily maneuver around the edges. And then also I think I'm gonna do all of them except for the USA around the edge with the yellow that I've been embroidering with. It doesn't match the jacket exactly, but I think it'll look good and it won't add like too much extra. So let's get into that. takeaways that I had from this one is just this took a really long time so just keep that in mind if you're going to embroider something also buy bigger spools of thread because it will use a lot of thread and it was nice to not have to worry about potentially running out of thread as I was sewing um, also I hand sewed part of this so I could save the pockets on it so I thought that was a really nice touch also, I don't know if you could realize, but because of how long it took, some of the stitching isn't the best, but I'm definitely going to go back and fix that in my free time. And yeah, I think those are my big takeaways. But thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you liked this, what other things you want to see. And also comment down below which patch is your favorite. And I will go through and like them and respond to your comments if you do that. And don't, lastly, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. See you next week. Bye.